this topic uh, this topic is um, is a really neat one actually it's called pyramid of numbers and um, we've been talking about food chains and food webs um, quite a bit in this one flow of energy and all that good stuff uh, pyramid of numbers yeah let me just talk about it first of all I want to show you uh, I'm going to I'm going to use this diagram, even though it's a little bit grainy, a little bit blurry. Uh, it is a good diagram. Um, but I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth between this one and another one. But what I want to show you in this one right now um, is that we're really just looking at a food chain. So here we have our producers, the grass. right? And this grass is eaten by a grasshopper. right? So the energy from the grass goes into the grasshopper. Then that grasshopper is eaten by a toad. So the energy of the grasshopper goes into the toad. And likewise, the energy of the toad goes into the snake when he gets eaten. And we could even do another one. We could say that the snake is being eaten by a, uh, an eagle, right? Rawr. Okay. Um, so the energy is going into the eagle. So really what we're looking at with a pyramid of numbers is a food chain, just one single food chain. However, what I want you to look at here in the notes, it says a pyramid of numbers shows not only this that we've already talked about with food chains, but it shows the approximate number of, of individuals who are producers and number of consumers as you move through this food chain. So if you look here, it says that um, the grass, there are 10,000 grass plants. Here there are 1,000 grasshoppers, 100 toads, 10 snakes, and maybe if we wanted to extend this, maybe only one eagle. Okay? So it gives us a number of individuals at each level or at each part of this food chain. Okay? Now a big question, and maybe I'll jump to this other diagram for this just to give you another look at a, a, a different pyramid. Um, this is also a, 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 a food chain. If you look, we've got, uh, we've got producers, right, which are eaten by herbivores, which are eaten by our, these carnivores, which are eaten by another carnivore. So, right, just like a normal, it's just a normal food chain. Okay. But what I want you to pay attention to here is the number of individuals and the shape of this. It is a pyramid. So down at the producer end of things, look how many producers we have in this example. It says we have 1,500,000 producers. That's a lot of producers. Now herbivores though, we only have 200,000. Much, much less. And that's what these squares represent, right? This is a smaller number, 200,000, than this big honking one, which is 1,500,000. Okay, they're different sizes because of the number of individuals. Now, I'm going to ask a question right now, actually. What if at the herbivore level, instead of 200,000, there were 1,500,000? I'm not sure why I'm putting commas there, but oh well. Okay, what if there are 1,500,000 1, of these herbivores? How long do you think that that grass would last? Yeah, not very long. And if it ate all the grass, then what would happen? What would happen to these herbivores? They wouldn't have anything to eat, right? So they would start to die off. And that would affect these guys. <laughs> and it would affect these guys. All right, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So that's not the case. So um, I'm just going to keep going with this food chain. So in, with the herbivores here, we've got 200,000 herbivores. Now you go up to the next level, these carnivores, okay, there is only 900,000 of them, right, which is represented by a smaller square. Okay, so there's less numbers. And again, we could ask the same question. What if there were the same number of primary consumers as there were of these herbivores? They'd eat them all, right, and then they wouldn't have any food to eat. Okay, and carrying on. Um, after that, primary consumer, our top carnivore in this one, uh, is there's only one of them. There's one, right? And that's represented by a very small little block. Okay. Now, the general 
shape, maybe I'll use blue here. So the general shape of this structure is a triangle. That tr triangular shape um, makes for a very healthy food chain and a healthy ecosystem. If you had, again, I'll say it again, if we had too many of, let me back up, if we had too many herbivores, right? So let's say our triangle was like this, kind of like a house shape. Is that very good? Is that going to work? No, it will not work. Because then all these herbivores here are going to eat all the grass, and then they're not going to be any more. Then there's no food source for them. Then they're going to die. And if they die, what are these guys going to do? Well, they're going to starve, right? Unless they get another food source. They're going to starve, and they're going to die. They're going to start dying off. And if they die off, what's going to happen to our fox? He's not going to have anything to eat. So he's going to die. So in order for us to have a nice, viable, healthy community, um, our food chains, as far as the numbers go, our food chains, um, I should say our food pyramids, have to be in this shape. Nice and tapered. Okay, Let's go back to our other um, diagram. So that's the same thing here. We've got a large number of producers, right? Got this large chunk here. We've got uh, our herbivores here, very small chunk because their numbers are much less. Okay, And then the next level, much less. And then the next level, even less still. So our shape here is a nice tapered uh, triangle. And that's how things need to be. So some questions that I will ask you is I'll say, why is a pyramid of number shape, or sorry, yeah, why is a pyramid of number shaped like a pyramid? Why do we use a pyramid? Okay, and the answer to that is, why is it shaped like a pyramid? Because as you move up the food chain from producers to your tertiary consumers, the number of individuals at each level goes down. It decreases. It's a smaller number of individuals. See the numbers here? 10,000, 1,000, 100, and 10. Okay. So that's why it's shaped like a pyramid.